Cars always go to plan, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Tell you what, this is one hell of a gas out. <laughs> this video is very exciting for me because the three rider is about to hit the most intimidating milestone I've been looking at for a while. We're leaving New York, going to Philly, just outside of Philly, and we're gonna drop off a bunch of parts for Jim at JPR and take a look at where the car is because the countdown now leaves us with two months to complete the project. But before we leave Manhattan, did take a little bit of a detour. Say hi to Adrian for me. Hello. This was an awesome experience, and you guys should get ready for a substantial dive in quality from right now. So come, are you excited to see the substantial dive in quality? Yeah. <laughs> so much. perfectly normal practices, we've gotten into the car. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Turns out I just wasn't pulling the handle right. That, that's all you need to know. Look at it. Oh, just as good as I remember. What am I doing? <laughs> it's all there. Seems to be. How are you feeling about it? It's all going to trash can. Except for the starter. This is nice. Now that's beautiful. One thing that I have been wondering about, now that this is off, we can examine. So this is one major change since last time. Weight reduction. <laughs> this is what I saw when I took the fender off and I was like, um, uh-oh. <laughs> was... No, I mean, that, that's obviously there's been work here. Someone, uh, like I said, this is all plastic. Mm -hmm. What would this generally mean? That this whole clip has been taken off and replaced? I think it probably took a shot and they straightened it all back out and kind of filled in what they had to to make it look decent. It's not totally the end of the world, long as it gets straight, mm -hmm. you should be able to use it, especially for your purposes. True. I'm sure it won't be the last time it's going to add some character to it. <laughs> I really hope it is the last time. <laughs> in a solved puzzle where you had all the parts in front of you, what is the general assembly time from this stage? A week or two. Fair enough. Finally back at JPR, uh, since the last video that you saw here, I've actually been back once, which was during the filming of the Formula Drift New Jersey video. And the funny thing about that was, one of the reasons I was so excited to go to Formula Drift New Jersey was not only to see drifting of the highest level, but also because there is one three-rotor that competes in Pro One with Formula Drift. Uh, his name's Kyle Mohead. I really wanted to see it run because to this day I have never seen or heard a three-rotor full throttle in person. I say to this day 
after the filming of that video because I came down to JPR to steal a Fender off of my own car to sell back in New York. And I might have left the event to come here at the exact time that that car was running, came back, realized I'd missed it and was very sad. But two main orders of business today. The first is just checking in on the state of the car. I'm trying to look at as many parts of it as possible now that I really know we have like nearly 60 days to get this done. As I start planning ahead for the pass off to Rally Fab, who's going to make all the bash bars, maybe reinforce some stuff. I want to just have a good reference point for like what the car looks like, get some images for Joe to look at. But also, I come bearing gifts. What should be a complete fuel system and a computer, maybe the last haul tech that could be purchased new for the next few months in the US, which is really lucky. And if all goes well, I might finally get to hear a three rotor. Give her the beans a little bit. That's a boat anchor. Poor thing. <laughs> there it is. Oh God, the source of many years off of my life in duckies. It, it'll be uh, definitely good for somebody to start a new project with. It's hurt, but yeah, a decent condition one. It's worth about nine grand these days. So you get half of that. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Ever since we had the epiphany about the stock 20V turbos, I was like this, every, I got excited again because for a second I was just like, oh, I'm so fucked, there's no way. <laughs> Getting closer though. I actually laughed that you laughed and didn't go, ah, oh, shit. I don't feel close. <laughs> to touch it. Oh, jeez. Okay. Wasn't blown up yet. Well, here, hold that so we can get something to open it. Suddenly, I feel more qualified to touch it. <laughs> well, thank you very much for my gift. Which one is funny for your part? Where are some antifreeze I can drink? <laughs> nice. Now, I have since ordering. Completely forgot every detail of what I ordered, but it has something to do with two fuel pumps um, and gasoline. Uh huh. So, <laughs> one thing that I did realize in the ordering of this is the tank itself. Whether refinishing or repurchasing, I can't tell if that's a good lap or a really bad one. Good for Mazda, it's not good for us. How long was the car sitting before you picked it up? That won't well, give or take uh, 16 years. Okay, we're gonna need a tank. Eight to nine hundred bucks. Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds great. And also looks correct. All right. That yes! Oh, I stood up way too quickly. Oh. That's a lot of individual pieces. Another step, another checkpoint, I guess.
elevator pitch list of this car. It's 20B Series B. This is actually a Series A engine. But it's been strengthened up a little bit to take the higher boost. But we're only running 13, 14 pounds of boost. What does that equate to in power? 550, 580s or never. Why do I need to get out? It's not like I'm gonna have a house to go live in. <laughs> well, you. <laughs> so many terrible but character building memories shared with that hunk of shit over there. Please buy it for four to five thousand dollars. <laughs> 